Good morning, good evening. My name is Oscar Stello. When I started thinking about what I was going to do for this speech, I didn't know where to go, didn't know what to do, didn't really know how to approach this at all in general. That was until I went outside, went to the store, grabbed some barbecue chips, looked at my car, realized it was pretty dirty. So I'm taking advantage of the situation. I'm going to wash my car. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. And bang, two birds, one stone. Let's go. And just like that, we're now outside. So, as you can tell, there's a car we're going to be washing today. It's my 2007 Subaru Forester. And again, as you can tell, she is quite in desperate need of a wash. So hopefully, by watching this speech, you learn how to properly wash your car using the two bucket method. Before we get started, I just want to point out two things real quick. When you're going to be washing your own car, you have to make sure it's shaded. So that's why I'm doing mine in the evening. As you can tell, it's pretty cloudy. It's not too sunny, so water won't be drying up as quickly and leaving those nasty water spots. And then secondly, you want to make sure your car is cool to the touch. What you'll need to wash your car at home is going to be these. I have this brush I use for the tires. Scrub down the tires. And then your typical washing soap for cars. And then... I have tire shine. This is optional, of course, but I like to do it this way. And then I have invisible glass, which is good for your windshields and such. Keeps them nice and sparkly, leaves no smudges. You're going to want a two, usually just one, but you can always have an extra one of these washing mitts. Then, of course, you're going to be needing a couple microfiber cloths to be drying your car off at the end. And since we are doing the double bucket method, you're going to be needing two buckets. One is going to be the washing bucket, and the second is just the rinse bucket. So as you're washing your car, you're going to be picking up some dirt, you know, just like a bunch of like gritty things, and which is why you're going to be wanting to put it, put it into this bucket so you don't carry around that dirt and stuff that could possibly leave scratches in your car. So wash, rinse, repeat throughout the whole car, and usually you go from top to bottom, so you'll start washing your car from the top all the way to the bottom, but... You always want to start with the wheels first. I already pre-soaked them, I guess. So we'll be starting off with that. And yeah. Before I start, I just wanted to mention something I forgot to say earlier. You never want to use the same washing tool that you'll be using for your tires and wheels and then for your car. You always want to have two separate ones for each one. So just finishing all your wheels, I usually like to empty out the rinse bucket just because we all seem to carry the most dirt and grit and sometimes even rocks but yeah so once this is filled up again we're gonna go ahead and rinse the car fully with water and then begin the washing process so now we have the initial soak of the car so now we can begin to actually wash the car with the soap Now once that you've finally applied a good coat of the soap, you can now rinse it and then dry it. Now that all the soap has been washed off, you grab those microfiber cloths that you need and thoroughly dry your car. Make sure not to take too long or else you'll have those nasty water spots that no one really likes. So yeah. As you can kind of see, it's all done now. Here's the finished product after using the two bucket method. And yeah, there you go. It's getting pretty dark out now, but after drying everything, it's on to the window. And lastly, I like to end off with the tire shine. This is a foaming one. And you just pretty much shake it, spray it on the tire, and then just rub it out. I usually just use the same cloth. I use for the windows and I just toss it out because it won't be good anymore after all that dirt on there. So yeah, the tire shine doesn't really look like much here, but once you compare it to the one without it, you can now 
quite tell a difference. I think this is pretty worth it. Makes the car look a whole lot better. So now, of course, everything's all wrapped up, all taken care of. And after that, just make sure everything is put back the way it was before. Don't leave any messes. And you know, you can always pick up things like I have this here, total wax right here that you can just put a coat over. And that's a whole other thing. You just put it on in circles and you buff it out in circles as well. Don't put too much pressure on though. And then I do have this like foam gun that I bought off of Amazon that I use that makes that whole coating process a lot easier. But for the intentions of today's video, I just decided to just use the traditional two bucket method. And yeah, there's the final product, pretty clean. I know it's a little hard to see, but bear with me here. So we're done with the exterior. Now we're working on to the interior. Just uh, like two quick basics that we have here, just leather care. I have, happen to have leather seats in my car, so just spray this a couple of times in a grand, just grab some cloth and just wipe it down. This will just keep the leather looking good, making sure it protects it from any tears or anything like that. And then secondly, we have the, like, it's like a protectant that you use for like dashes and stuff. This will keep it like, have that nice shine, glossy look and uh keep it protected from the sun so you avoid like dash cracks and such and then of course once you do that you can move on to the mats and with that you'll just want to vacuum them and i personally just use like a carpet cleaner and like a like a sponge thing and i just scrape it down and then clean that off and then i spray it off with water and i let it dry for a while and then after that, you grab that same vacuum. I'll show I'll show it in a little bit back in the garage what I use. Or you can just go to the car washes and use those vacuums for free and just vacuum your entire car, keep it looking good. And then I forget what scent this is, but this one's amazing. But I would recommend putting in an air freshener into your car, just making sure you feel good being in it. Nice reminder that your car is pretty clean. And yeah, and lastly, real quick, like I mentioned in the previous video, this is what I use to vacuum the car from the inside. And then something that I'll sometimes use if it's pretty dirty and needs an extra wash, I'll use something like this. But again, just a traditional carpet cleaner and some type of brush like that or something will do the job just fine. But yeah, that's everything. And I hope my informative speech on how to properly wash your car inside and out was quite helpful. Thank you.